Hey everyone, this is Jeremy and my wife Jerusha. And we just want to take a couple minutes and give you a discussion starter as you get into your small group today. The passage of study in Malachi 2 ends with a very strong encouragement. His encouragement in verse 16 is, So guard your heart and do not be unfaithful to your wife. Good advice. What does it look like to guard your heart? We just wanted to take a couple minutes and give you three ways in which you can do that. The first is to guard what you see. King David in Psalm 101.3 says, I will not set before my eyes anything that is worthless. And if we're not careful, the things that we watch and the things that we view on the internet can just fill our hearts with that which is vulgar and vile. And so we actually need to be careful what we see and be careful what we allow ourselves to watch because what happens is as we fill our hearts with these vile things, they will pour out into our relationships and they will impact our marriages and our dating relationships. The second is to be careful what you say. The psalmist in 141 verse 3 says, Set a guard over my mouth. Lord, keep watch over the door of my lips. The New Living Translation says, take control of what I say, Lord. And I like that because as a woman, it's kind of easy to fall into gossip sometimes um, or speaking disparagingly about my husband. And that's not something that I want to do. And it's something that I would encourage everybody out there as well to speak positively around others about your spouse, to build them up and esteem them in the Lord. Whether you're married, single, dating, whatever stage of life that you're in, this principle of keeping watch over what you say is so important. Jesus reminds us in Matthew 12, 36, that we have to give an account for every careless word that we speak. That can be a little intimidating when you think about giving an account of every word that you've spoken. But when we determine in our hearts to let God set a watch over our lips, then we can trust him to help us speak. So are you seeing the, the pattern here? Be careful what you see, S. Be careful what you say, S. And the third is be careful what you... Stress. Hebrews, not stress, like, oh, I'm so crazy, but what do you focus on? What do you bring to memory? Hebrews 12, 14 through 15 tells us, work at living at peace with everyone and work at living a holy life. For those who are not holy will not see the Lord. Look after each other so that none of you fails to receive the grace of God. Watch out that no poisonous root of bitterness grows up to trouble you, corrupting many. If we're not careful, anything could rub us the wrong way. Anything and anyone can cause a, a root of frustration that turns into a bitterness that grows, and those little roots destroy relationships. Mm -hmm. They destroy marriages. And so for us, we've made it our goal to not keep these things in our lives. We want to uproot them. So it's past wrong. We need to make sure that we're keeping short accounts with one another. We're forgiving one another. We're having those hard conversations when we need to. And it's really difficult. We understand how hard it is to not keep a record of wrong. I think that's the easiest thing to do. But in our relationships, God is telling us, and this passage is encouraging us to uproot these roots of bitterness so they don't destroy our lives and our relationships. So be careful what you see, be careful what you say, and be careful what you stress. These are great ways for you to be able to guard your heart, and you will see that as you do so, they will impact your relationships. So as you get started in your small group, discussion, why don't you share with one another ways in which you guard your heart as well. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye.